Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, here in the background, we've got the 2022 LDV Deliver 9 long wheelbase high roof. Um, we've worked with Camplify on this one. It's their first prototype of this van. We uh, custom designed everything inside with the layout uh, and, and everything that you see. So we built it all in house. Really happy with the overall design and I uh, can't wait to show you guys through it. So let's start at the back. All right, so starting off at the back, we have two good storage drawers, all on the locking drawer slide. So no matter what angle you're parked at or where you are, you pull them out, they're gonna lock in place. You can get what you need in. So they're always good. We put them in all of our vans. And uh, this one's slightly longer on the right side here. Underneath, we just have a, uh, a little pull-out table. You can pull up, either sit down on the back of the van, or if you are parked up camping, throw some chairs out. You can eat and drink, play cards, you name it. Over here, we've got the external shower. So this just lifts up, you plug in. You can either just stand out the back and, and use it by your hand, or you can uh, sort of feed it through the back of the door and there's a little suction cup which you can have onto the side of the van and, and control your shower there. So hot and cold water out of that one too, which is great, handy for when you're coming out of the beach or. Uh, you know, you just got, want to get the muck off your feet. So always good to have that little shower out the back. Yeah, on the back door also, we've used the Front Runner Universal Ladder Rack, uh, the um, ladder to get to the rack. Uh, so also a great, a great bit of gear and um, just makes accessing the roof on these high roofs a lot easier. Alrighty, so before we step on in, uh, first of all, we put the Fiamma F45 on. It's a great awning attached to the roof rack, uh, three meters, and I think it comes out 3.5. Over here, we've got the pull-out table. So again, when that awning's set up and you've got beautiful weather, uh, it's all set up for induction cooking on this one. So you can be cooking out here, enjoying what's going on outside. Yeah, lots of, lots of different uses for the external table. We close that one back up and then we'll step on inside. All right, so this is front of house. We'll start with a little kitchen area here. Um, a really nice little prep space. We've got the lift out panel for your sink in there. Again, just to um, have more access to you know, your bench space for prepping meals and bits and pieces. Um, all of our drawers are on soft close with the RV Labs pull latches. Uh, they work really well, and once they're, you hear that click, they're all locked in. Uh, so really recommend those as well. We have our 240 volt uh, up, up here as well, so that if the weather is really bad, you, we can be cooking inside uh, with induction cooking. Hot and cold uh, everywhere throughout the van. Overhead storage here, which is really good, used for a pantry, throw jars in there or, or whatever you may want to put overhead there. Um, one of the things that we're really stoked about in this van is the fact that we were able to integrate a full shower uh, toilet combo, um, which wasn't an easy thing to do with these vans. They're not the longest vans internally, so we're really pleased with how it all flowed. So if we open up the door here, you can see inside we've got the, the toilet over here and the shower up there. Uh, access to the cat, uh, cassette is external. Um, and yeah, really stoked with how that all finished up. Laura from Wonderings and Co. She does all of our curtains. So we got a little roll down, drop down tab on here, which just comes in behind the kitchen. And then throughout the rest of the van, they're all insulated um, with little magnet tabs and they pop in uh, around the van where the other windows are. So we'll take you to the back and show you the lounge and dining area. Alrighty, so here we are. We've got the 188 litre Dometic fridge freezer. So amazing amount of space in this, pretty much like a house fridge. To be able to have that inside of a van 
is absolutely awesome. Above that, we have the Kamek microwave oven. Um, again, super handy to have. To the right, we've got the 24 inch smart TV. Um, that's connected up to the aerial on the roof. So um, as long as you've got reception, you'll be able to watch live TV. And then um, if you have access to hotspot and things like that, you can connect it up and use it as a smart TV also. Underneath, we've got our switch, our switch panel here. So it's all just touch. Control your, your master lights, kitchen lights, underfloor LED lighting, uh, under bench LED lighting and LED lighting through the roof. Um, little shower toilet light as well, and then the water pump. Readout, our Enerdrive readout here to tell us how we're going with our batteries and also the inverter switch here so we can, can turn our inverter on and off um, at access from the wall there. Dometic Harrier Light Aircon, uh, really happy with how it works, how quiet it is, um, and compact as well on the roof. So really, really good. We have max fan in the back, so that runs off 12 volt. So you can be using that whenever, pull air in, uh, take air out. We've got two windows that we've cut into the side of the van. They have the block outs, with the fly screens, and then they pop out at different positions when they wanna open up as well. Sirocco fan up to the right. Um, great just to get a bit of airflow moving with the windows open and things like that. We have two 12 volt sockets and USBs at the rear, so they can work when you're inside of the, the van or if you need to have access to those things ex uh, from the exterior as well. And then just above that, we've got the, our um, a hot water controller, so you can control the temperature with that uh, via our instant gas hot water system. All right, so with the bed area in here, um, through the day, if people are working on the road or uh, you know just sitting around, you can move this table around anywhere you want, swivel it around, do all sorts of stuff with it to make it more comfortable for yourself. Um, so a really good bit of gear there. And then also when you just wanna make the bed, it will just drops down and creates that east-west bed here. We've also added the addition to be able to sleep north-south via a uh, extension that, put, that slides out over the battery box. Um, and the reason for that was we, because we fit the fixed shower toilet, we have the big 188 litre fridge. Um, to be able to not just limited to east-west sleeping, um, it's awesome that you can uh, slide that out and have two metres um, of north-south sleeping in, in that area. So it caters for, uh, for taller people, which is, uh, which is a bonus. Um, so under this side of our cabinetry is all of our electrical gear. So it is powered by the Enerdrive E-System C, which is top of the line product. Um, it's got 200 amp hours of lithium battery um, and powered by, uh, gets charged by 350 watts of solar on the roof when you are stopped up. Um, so when I mentioned the inverter before, that's the inverter switch. It will be able to run all of your items such as your induction cooking, your air fryer, a small coffee machine, um, all of those types of things will run while you are not plugged in. Because we have 200 amp hours of lithium battery, we have loads of power, um, which is awesome, which is really good. So it's got that three system, uh, three charging system uh, with while you're driving, it'll charge the battery. When you're parked up, you've got 350 watts of solar on the roof charging. And then when you do have access to shore power, if you are plugged in, all of your outlets will also run directly offshore power and it'll be charging the battery at the same time as well. So absolutely awesome bit of gear there by Enerdrive and um, Q who does all, all of our electrical work for us. Um, overhead storage, we've got two really uh, good size overhead storages left and right here. Really handy and fit as much as you can in these vans. Our linings, we're really happy with this product. It's, it's a super lightweight pre-finished Product. So fire resistant, waterproof, and it, uh, and it looks, looks really good. So um, yeah, really, really happy with how that is all finished up. Um, we'll show you the services on the outside of the van. All right, so first up, we have access to our cassette toilet here. Um, this is your mains water plug-in, and this is our water tank filler. So 100 litres of uh, fresh water underneath, which is, we can drink out of that tank. All that sort of stuff. So that's our filling point for that one there. Next up, we've got our plug-in power, so our shore power. Um, we have a four kilo lockable gas storage box, and we have our Kamek instantaneous gas hot water system. 
We have a 38 litre uh, grey water tank as well underneath the car. Um, and that's the services on this van. So we keep them all to one side to make it easier to pack up, uh, set up and pack up. Alrighty, so that's a wrap on our LDV 2020 van. Uh, really happy with the overall design, all the features we were able to include um, and just the overall finish and feel of the vehicle to be able to fit everything in and still make it feel comfortable and you know, like you have enough space to be able to live out of it and in, you know, go camping and, and have a really good time. So really happy with it. Hope you guys enjoy it and um, thanks for watching. <laughs>